Attack guys, it's what? happened what? again. What? what? It's happened again. Nah, nah. This week, Heathrow got shut down. Boom. I want to say we called it, but we didn't. But Heathrow got shut down. Shut down by a drone again, just like Gatwick. Gatwick drone what attack. What are you talking about? Let us know what you think happened in the comment section down below. We're going to take you through the top theories about what is going on. On so five o'clock. Wait, was Boom. it Tuesday or Monday? Uh, pff, one of them. Monday or Tuesday? It doesn't matter in this media five world. Five o'clock. Boom, drone. Drone turns five up in the sky. He throws shut down for an hour and a half. That's it. At uh, at five minutes past five, drone sighting, mate. Yeah, that's what happened. Uh, true. Flights were it's held no uh, from then onwards due to what yep. they were calling. Numerous drone sightings. Numerous. Was it? Was it numerous? Numerous. It was numerous. Was it numerous? Cause I didn't no see more numerous any. in Gatwick. I didn't see any, and I'm a BBC photographer driving on the M25. No, that's not you. You're that, you're not. No. The... So I, I imagine I'm a BBC photographer. Okay. Let's put, our, let's put ourselves into the perspective. I'm I'm driving on the M25. Okay. It's quarter to six in the evening. Yeah. Right. Yeah. M25 quarter to six in the evening. Hundred percent traffic. Okay. So I'm probably going to be sitting there still. Right. Mad traffic. I'm just driving along. It's dark. Your BBC cameraman, you're thinking, why do I sell out to a media corporation? What the hell is that? Oh my god, is that another drone? Yeah, fuck. Wait, where are we? Let me check my sat nav. Oh, that's Heathrow. That's a drone. Wow, that's really important. I better get my camera phone out and take a picture because everybody has a camera phone and they're really easy to get. Wait. But it you, didn't happen! He didn't do it! And let's be honest about this, uh, at 5.45, quarter to six, now in the UK, it's fucking dark at that time, so every light you see in the sky could be a fucking drone, mate. A BBC cameraman. Yeah, but the thing is, you... BBC... No, no, no. Camera. You got it wrong. I don't understand why he didn't take a picture. Because he works for the very establishment that try to keep these things quiet. Look, there's been a lot of theories about what's happened with this drone attack. You think they're trying attack. to keep it quiet now? Yeah, because no one's got an agenda in this drone attack. I reckon okay, go on. there's been a lot of conspiracy theories online, mate. But there is definitely an agenda. There's an agenda. There was an, I think, because like, there was an agenda. There was this whole thing in Parliament at the same time where they put through, a, trying to put through a, a, a thing that was going to stop the no deal Brexit and that never happened. Like, they lost, so they didn't get that. So that's this whole thing. So like, that's... There's, there's an agenda, like, that's that's hiding something, just like Gatwick was hiding something. Look, people online have been saying there's an agenda to the Heathrow drone attack as well, and okay. you're quite right. They're saying that that is the uh, finance bill that was going through Parliament at yep, the time. Yep, yep, yep. They're saying it's to distract from Brexit. I think yep, it's the opposite. Heathrow had no agenda. Heathrow drone attack wasn't a false flag. Heathrow drone attack was legit. Heathrow drone attack, I think, okay. was a copycat. Ah, oh. was a copycat. Yeah, okay. And because no, this makes sense. it, this makes sense. it got no Nobody traction cared. in the media. The drone was drone was there, confirmed sighting the by Met a BBC police. cameraman. BBC and the Met. cameraman, right? The Met Police, the King of Heathrow Airport, probably. The, 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 uh, he's actually the the uh, the oh, sorry, Archbishop. The Archbishop of, of Heathrow, Heathrow Airport. Airport and the Emperor of London. All oh, praise the Emperor. Seen of this drone, right? They've seen it. It's been confirmed sighting by a BBC yeah. cameraman. Now, if there's any human being in the world that is a a person who can probably see things well, it's going to be a cameraman for the BBC. Unless those things are atrocities in the Yemen, in which case they don't really tend to report on that. Or, unless that thing is not a useful tool for the BBC to whip a yarn, mate. Yeah. To whip Look, a yarn. It's speculation at this point who had the thing to gain at that. There was definitely a party, as we did in our last video. Yep. The, uh, there had to Vinci... be somebody who was going to win. Like, yeah. There had to be somebody who was going to get something out of it but i reckon you're on something if, yeah. what if it was a copycat yeah so somebody saw this gubbins about gatwick which was a legit false fag attack yeah. from the government in if you, ha if you haven't checked out our last video check it out mate, where we proved 
that Vinci, uh, the company that bought over 50% of Gatwick, not days after the drone attack, which lowered its share prices by almost half, had a vested interest in that place being closed and an attack happening there that lowered its share price. There was no organisation that had a vested interest in Heathrow being closed for that amount of time. The safety concerns, the amount of drone sightings were very similar. The only thing that was different was the media attention on it. And there was no media attention because no one was paying the bills to have it put in the face. You think that you watch fucking TV and you see adverts for Coca-Cola. They don't get that advert for free. They pay for it. Okay? Well, and no, it's exactly the same pay... with the media, mate. Yeah, yeah. Someone is paying for those Somebody's stories to be on. Mate, you saying that when I watch the news... What's actually happening is that somebody is deciding what information I receive. Yep, and they're deciding based, that. Based on how much money the person who wants to give me that information is willing to money pay. Money or power or influence or agenda. That is what you see. The news is bullshit. Like, no one gives a piss that the fact that half of France is closed. Well, hang on a minute. But we're doing news. Yeah, but no one's paying us yet. But we're bullshit. Are we any different? We are bullshit. Look, all right. No, I, I like the I like the copycat thing. Like I like the idea that there was some schmo with a drone who saw the Gatwick stuff and was like, I'm going to do that. Yeah. And then just just went and did it. Look, like, if I live, he went next... and flew the drone. Yeah. And then somebody saw him and was like, Oh shit, that's the drone. Better close the airport. And then the guy was like, Oh, they've closed the airport. Right, take the drone down. Get the fuck out of there because I don't want to get shot by the police. All right. Just like monkey that guy on the train. see, monkey do. Yeah. In but... this case, it was a copycat. No one had an agenda with Heathrow. Yeah. That's why the BBC went, oh, Heathrow's seen a drone. Mate, do you I didn't not even think, know about it. Do you not think that there are drone sightings at airports every single day? Somebody. Essentially, what we have here, guys, is that the Heathrow drone attack and the media attention or lack of that followed is proof that Gatwick was a false flag operation funded by Vinci. Because no one gave a shit about Heathrow. And when Heathrow the drone was a bigger and more important airport. <coughs> no one gave a shit. Nobody the BBC cared. didn't care. Nobody the media cared. didn't care. Because also, no one was paying nobody was paying. the bills. Nobody was paying. And you know what else is important? And this is more important, right? We have beards. That's true. Look. If you've got some theories about what's going on with these drones, let us know down in the comments below. If you're a drone pilot and now you've had to register your drone and register yourself, let us know. We want to see what you think about what it's done to the drone pilot community as a whole with all these false flags. And I'm really scared to see what's going to happen next. Like, what are the government going to try and clap down? Because they've found, like, wait, if we just blame something really bad on a drone, we can, like, almost basically ban drones. Yeah. So, like, what else can we get banned? Like, how long until they ban... The internet. Uh, the internet. How long until they ban memes? Article 13. How long before they ban uh, internal combustion engines? How long until they ban Chinese Huawei phones? Like, all this stuff. Yeah. That's what they want to do. They want to control. They want to they want to bring it down to the things that they can give us, and that's it. And we want to know what the things you're worried about in the future, what the government could try and control about you. Now, if you like this video, please leave a like. It helps us out a lot. It makes us feel so great when we get a like. If you hated it, we don't care. But right? let us know because but, I want to see like, If you see. really don't want to like it, like press dislike because that we know that it was bad and then we won't make another one. Well, we still But we will. might make another one anyway because yeah, we, like, we just do whatever the fuck we want. Um, and if you're not subscribed and you want to watch more videos like this or you want to watch our more videos like the other things we've done, hit the subscribe button. Stay subscribed. Check out our other videos. Hang out on our Facebook page and be aware of what's around you. Be aware of what's around you. Don't trust. Don't trust. Two no, that's it. That's what you shills need to say. You're weird government shills. We're YouTube. We're shills. Shills. Falsely exposing these things. Don't trust us. Should we make a video where we're just clearly shills? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Should yeah. we make. What we should do to we every just, news story, we should we do both just sides. Do it's like, there's a drone attack and that's absolutely fine. And we should fear Drones are evil. We should fear them. Fear sure. the sky gods. I really hope the police ban all drones. Fear the sky gods. They will rain death upon you from Theresa space. Theresa May will tell us exactly what to do.